Hi everyone, welcome back to Practicing Hydroponics. As we discussed in the, uh, in the blog updates, uh, we started Grow 3 today. This is an experiment with rapid rooter plugs, STG cubes, and rock wall cubes. See which uh, of these three mediums work the best for us in uh, germinating seeds. We have uh, soaked the rock wall cubes overnight in the rock wall conditioner and in fairness to the rapid rooter uh, uh, cubes and the STG cubes, although we did not soak them overnight, um, we did uh, moisten them or soak them uh, prior to the seeds being uh, placed in the cubes. We have planted uh, romaine lettuce, Roma tomatoes, basil, spinach, in each of the cubes, a uh, series of, of uh, seeds in, going into uh, each different medium. We uh, look forward to seeing how, uh, how these do over time. As, uh, as an update to the, uh, to the other grows, as you can see, our uh, cherry tomato plants have uh, gotten quite large. We are now to the point where we're starting to uh, secure them or stake them against uh, these PVC pipes to uh, help support their growth. We actually have uh, some flowers that we just noticed in the uh, in the last day or so, and uh, we're very excited to see that. So hopefully, uh, we'll be seeing some tomato production here pretty soon. We have uh, flowers that have emerged on uh, both of these plants. The uh, Roma tomatoes have not uh, been doing quite as well. We actually had to move one uh, back to the Aeroflow. The root structure on that plant uh, was not as uh, robust as it probably should have been to be placed into the power grower and they started to suffer from uh, lack of water so we moved those back. As you can see our butter currant lettuce that was in the Aeroflow is doing quite well, so large to the point where we had to move it to the power grower. We have one big basil plant in the power grower, a radicchio and several fennel plants. As you can see we have uh, transplanted uh, all of our seedlings from Grow 2 into the Aeroflow. Here is our uh, Roma and basil that we kicked back and they have recovered from their grout condition. In fact the uh, Roma tomato plant was almost dead. Uh, we planted it uh, one day, came back into the grow room the next day and, and found that it was just pretty limp and uh, it was a, a far cry from what we would call a healthy healthy plant but we put it back in the arrow flow and mandated it come back. We were really surprised to see that. We're getting more growth on the basil as well and as soon as this root structure is a little bit more mature we'll probably move it back into the power grower. As you can see the uh, butter crunch lettuce is doing quite well. It always seems to be doing well in this, uh, in this unit. The uh, peppers that we put in here are also doing well. The leeks, surprisingly, these are uh, yellow peppers, by the way. The uh, smaller pepper plants are the red peppers. We just moved these into the power grower. These were also uh, seedlings from germination too, although they took about two weeks longer to come out than the yellow peppers did. The arugula is doing extremely well in the power grower. We have several arugula plants several parsley plants. Here's another uh, yellow pepper down here close to the uh, Roma tomato plant and up here you can see the parsley is also doing well. We look forward to our next update for you. Hopefully uh, in five to ten days we'll get some seeds germinating out of those uh, uh, ones that we put in and we can put our last rail on the uh, Aeroflow here. That's it from practicing uh, hydroponics, we look forward to seeing you on our next video.